welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.51 of chapter 4 so the statement of this question is for the random variable x and y in exercise 3.39 on page 105 determine the correlation coefficient between x and y okay so today we are going to find out the correlation coefficient previously what we have done we have found out the covariance and what was basically the covariance first we had found out the expected value of x and y which is the combined expected value and from them we have subtracted what we have subtracted the expected value of x multiplied by the expected value of y okay so this is what this is the covariance and it strongly depends upon the units of these quantities okay so this is a unit full quantity in order to make a unitless quantity what we have here we have here the correlation coefficient and correlation coefficient is basically the normalized version of the covariance okay so in order to find out the correlation coefficient what do we have to do we have the covariance and the same covariance we have to divide it over the variance of x and variance of y and the whole square root of it so this is the correlation coefficient okay so in this way we can also write this correlation coefficient let me write it cc we can also write it like e of x y minus e of x and e of y divided by the sigma x sigma y also here it will be the whole square root so here what it is basically the equation we will be needing in our question so if we have this value if we have these two values and if we have the variances of the both the random variables we can very easily find out the correlation coefficient in our previous questions uh, we have already found out the marginal distribution for x and y and also the expected value of x y expected value of x and expected value of y as well in our previous question let us move to those questions see that what were those so this was basically question 4.44 in which we had already found out the values of f x y and on the basis of the values of x and y we have calculated the values for e of x y okay let me move down somehow for the other values we have already found out the mu x which is basically e of x and also e of y okay these values are already given also this was basically the function we had and i will put a link of this question over here as well so this was basically the a equation for the joint probability distribution and on the basis of it we had found out the values which are here so then after it i had found out what this is this is basically the formula for the covariance okay so finding here the covariance what was the value so here the value of the covariance was this one okay so the covariance here was sigma x y so this was minus 3 over 14 so let me go back to our today's question so in solving the question the value of sigma x y or covariance this was sigma x y and it was already given which was minus 3 over 14 now in order to use this equation and finding the value of sigma x and sigma y what do we have to do we have to use the same equation which we had there and it was what it was writing all the values of x here and here x square f of x 
and here y y square f of x okay so these are the values here so let me move back to the question which i was previously referring so now here in order to find out the values here what would we do we will just write here what here it would become sigma of x equal to x square f of x y and for sigma of y i will have here x y square f of x y okay just writing all the values here just by squaring the terms here okay and also here what would we get we have calculated it and the values of them were it was 15 over 28 and this was 3 over 7 okay let me move back to my question so this was what this was basically 15 over 28 and this was 3 over 7 let me write these values over here so we will have here the correlation coefficient equal to the minus 3 over 14 divided by the square root of what 15 over 28 multiplied by 3 over 7 okay so it would be minus 3 over 14 multiplied by 1 over all of it will become 45 divided by 196 because 28 multiplied by 7 is 196 okay so writing them here we can also write here minus 3 over 14 multiplied by 1 over it would become 5 multiplied by 9 divided by this is 14 square okay so let me move down somehow here it would become the coefficient this would be minus 3 over 14 multiplied by 1 over this is basically the square root of 9 is 3 so 3 and uh, here we would get 5 also here this is 14 square so it will become 1 and it is now 14 so these two will cancel out and ultimately here i will get minus 1 over square root of 5 okay so this is what this is basically the correlation coefficient of the question which we had to do and that is basically the solution of our question 4.51 okay so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon